Hola, que tal todos? Profesor Pablo here with lesson number 165, Sentence Starters. I'm looking for a hotel that has certain conditions. Busco un hotel que, plus verb number eight, present subjunctive, I am looking for a hotel that. Once again, our key points are identical for all the subjunctive. I'm just going to summarize. Uh, verb number eight is present subjunctive. It's based on the usted command. We do have five irregular usted commands. Vaya, este, de, sepa, and sea. Vaya from ir, este from estar, de from dar, sepa from saber, and sea from ser. All present subjunctive conjugations are based on the usted command. And we know that the usted command is based on the yo o form of the present tense. All right, our infinitives here, we have a small list. Estar cerca del mar, to be close to the ocean. Tener buen servicio, to have good service. No permitir fumar, to not allow smoking. No costar mucho, to not cost a lot. Tener una piscina, to have a pool. And servir buena comida, to serve good food. All right, what do we know about the verb estar? We know it's irregular. It's a stay with an accent. What about tener? We know it's a go verb. It's going to be tenga somewhere. Permitir is regular. Costar is a UE stem changer, so it's going to be cueste, except in the nosotros it does not stem change. Tener again is a go verb, so we're going to have some form of tenga. And servir is an E to I, so we know that stem change will take place. Our examples. First one. I'm looking for a hotel that is close to the ocean. Busco un hotel que, all right? Busco un hotel que esté cerca del mar. I'm looking for a hotel that has good service. Busco un hotel que tenga buen servicio. If you were to say, busco un hotel que tiene buen servicio, of course people would understand what you're trying to communicate, but it's not accurate. However, if you say, busco un hotel que tenga buen servicio, right away, they're saying, this person can speak really, really well in Spanish. The third one, I'm looking for a hotel that doesn't permit smoking. Busco un hotel que no permita fumar. Once you hear people that speak the language fluently say to you, wow, you speak it really well. You speak good Spanish. Well, when they hear the subjunctive, it's really impressive. And they don't really know a lot of people, no matter if you're a native speaker or non-native speaker, they, they don't, they're not familiar with the term subjunctive, but they're very familiar with, if you want to say, for example, I'm looking for a hotel that's close to the ocean, they know that when you say, busco un hotel que esté cerca del mar, they know that is correct. If you say something other than that, like busco un hotel que está cerca del mar, then they also know immediately that that is incorrect. All right, let's go down to the fourth one. I'm looking for a hotel that doesn't cost a lot. That's a UE stem changer. Busco un hotel que no cueste mucho. And I'm looking for a hotel that serves good food. Busco un hotel que sirva buena comida. All right, perfect. Good job. Great job. Lesson 165 is done. Give it a check mark. Hasta la próxima lección. This is Professor Pablo signing off. Cambio fuera.